Chris Nolan has a new film coming out called Tenant. The trailer just popped up today. Haven't watched a Chris Nolan film since, I guess, I don't know, Interstellar? I, I wasn't too impressed with Interstellar, honestly. It was a bit of a letdown. As in, especially the last act, it was just nuts. No, I, no. I, I watched Dunkirk recently. I just clocked he directed that. For some reason, I thought Kenneth Branagh directed that. But no, he may have directed that, actually. I think he did direct it. I just watched it recently. Pretty good, you know? It was actually surprisingly good. Not a lot of dialogue, but the physical acting there was uh, really, really something. So, I suppose if that's the last thing he's done that I've watched, I think that came out last year, the year before. Hopefully, this will be good. I don't know what this is about at all. Like, I... I I have no clue. I know that some of the actors in this are not very well known. I know them, but they're not exactly household names. They probably will be after being in a Chris Nolan film. So uh, let's get to this trailer anyway. Hopefully this film is actually good. It's Chris Nolan, so you expect some type of, some level of good, but the level of good depends. Is it is it The Dark Knight or is it Interstellar? Is it, is it The Dark Knight or Batman Begins or is it The Dark Knight Rises? So let's get to this anyway. Let's go. We all believe we've run into the burning building. But until okay, we just... feel that heat, we can never know. You do. Has a bit of a... You chose to die instead of giving up your colleagues. That's pretty fucked up. Feeding him cyanide. Not everybody does. Welcome to the afterlife. To do what I do, I need some idea of the threat we face. As I understand it, we're trying to prevent World War Three. Nuclear holocaust. No. Something worse. Wait, are they going? All I have for you is a word. Tell it. It'll open the right doors. Some of the wrong ones too. You have to start looking at the world in a new way. To understand it. What the heck? Feel it. It all happened here. Hasn't happened yet. What the actual fuck was that? I I don't really know what to say. It's original, I guess. I don't think this is an adaptation of sorts, like... Is Christopher Nolan actually mad? Like, is he actually bonkers? Because... I don't know what this thing is really about. I think that's the whole point. He doesn't want you to understand what's going on. I, th I think with, with some of his films, it does go like that. Interstellar, Inception, and I guess this. They all have that type of tone of not really understanding what's going on until it's happened. And then still trying to figure it out after the fact. And after the film's finished, you're like... What actually did I just watch? What happened? What was the point? And then, I mean, with Inception at least, there's actually a big meaning to it. Hidden meaning. Not really hidden. They slapped you around the face with it in a way. Um, but the ending was... I Well, it's debatable about the ending, but I thought that uh, the totem was was tending to, to shake a little bit at the end there. It wasn't going to continue spinning, but... Maybe they should have cut the shot a little quicker so it didn't look like it was going to stop because it looked like to me it was going to stop. 
but confusing as hell. Still no clue what it's about. The The main guy in this is Denzel Washington's son, I believe. Uh, he's the guy from, uh, what was that film last year with Adam Driver? About the KEK, uh, a Black Klansman. He was in Black Klansman last year. And that was really good. I enjoyed that. Um, you know, there were problems with it, but there, there are problems with every film. Let's not joke about. So, you know, it was decent. It was decent, and he was pretty good in it, along with Adam Driver, so it makes sense. His dad is freaking Denzel Washington, all right? It's not like he's gonna... I mean, he's, he's finding his own footing, I guess, in the industry, but his, his dad's Den, Denzel Washington, so let's just put that out there. Slap that about, because it's... You can't change that fact. Robert Pattinson's in this as well. I didn't know Kenneth Branagh was actually in this film. I, I had no idea. So when I saw him, I'm like, yeah, Kenneth Branagh. Uh, the beginning of it did have a bit of a Six Underground vibe, like the trailer for that new Ryan Reynolds film on Netflix. The beginning had that type of vibe to it. Uh, and then that quickly went away. I haven't watched that film yet either, but uh, it just turned absolutely raucous very quickly. Time travel, sort of, but not really. It's... World War Three, but not nuclear bombs. It's, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's sort of the intrigue with Christopher Nolan films sometimes. Just the confusion is part of the fun and it's part of what sort of draws you in and lures you in to want to watch the film. And he's going to do the same thing with this. He's probably going to make a billion dollars as well. He just does those types of films. I mean, it depends how it's marketed. This was a pretty good first trailer. It was interesting. It was weird. It was different. So from that point of view, it's probably got people uh, buzzing online, I guess, a little bit. But then with Star Wars coming out, how buzzed can people be? Because people are probably going to be on that in either a positive or negative way. So people probably won't pay attention to this very much. Unless it's being put on, on the Rise of Skywalker film as a trailer before. That would make sense. It would make sense. I don't know. Interesting, weird. Christopher Nolan. That's basically what this is. Christopher Nolan. Anyway, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then Batman himself will come after you, alright? Not, not, not Ben Affleck Batman, alright? I mean the man, the myth, the legend, even though he's really just as human as you can get. Christian Bell's Batman will come after you, alright? You don't want that, you really don't, so just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been the original the comic. You've been great, I'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh, wow, it's coming close to Christmas. But I will see it tomorrow. Who knows? There will... No, who, not who knows. There will definitely be a video on Christmas as well. Just what it is. See you tomorrow anyway. Be a wonderful day. Wondrous, amazing, incredible. See you then. See you tomorrow. Wah! Oh, wow, that, that just fell. Okay, see you tomorrow. Skadoosh. Oh.